All right, though, huh? Now we are big friends with the pikes. Maybe we can just walk in here. Let's see. Nope. Pike power. <laughs> well, apparently we cannot, though, no matter how close we are as friends. But let's go. Let's go. The camera is still off, though, because we did take good care of it. Stay quiet, buddy. Nice. <laughs> I feel bad though, right? Because we are big best buddies right now, but let's just rob him blind. I mean, hmm? that's what you do with us too. Oh yeah, new speeder, new collectible, target tariff. I like it. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> I mean, you know, like... Hey, new page up and everything. It, it's just perfect, right? You know, now let's see. The reputation is still good, but let's also do this with the Crimson Dawn Fault. Yeah. Let's go. Now, this is one reason why I don't like to work for the Crimson Dawn or the Pikes, but especially not the Pikes. The Crimson Dawn is it's more neutral towards humans, right? We just walked past one pike girl and she said to us, well, it seems like humans can be uh, reasonable after all, you know? So I was like, ha, oh, it's good that we are still playing with your, you know, agency. Or else you would have a blaster shot somewhere, you know, an extra hole somewhere. So, you know, the thing though is right, you know, we want to choose who treats humans the best and they all treat everything and everyone the worst of the wars. And that is an absolute understatement too, right? But with the hurt, I think you're more neutral though then, right, you know? You're actually more neutral, so that's interesting. I'm not sure why we are in a sneaky mode here, you know? As if we did shit ourselves. But we are not even sneaking right now at this moment. Let's see how quiet we can be. Hmm, big boy's gone here. Nope. Pull that. Come on. Come on, what are you doing? No! Right, I know. It's all My dude, why did we get stuck there? Clearly because we didn't go in the middle. The funny thing about the Crimson Dawn, by the way, is, is that they are more operating like... Like a spy station from the CIA or FBI, one might say. In, especially like in Fallout, if you think about it, right? You know, in that universe where they are, well, hidden somewhere in the Slocum Joe, right? Nobody sees us, right, Nix? Right, Nix? Let's just wait here for a second. Come on, lovebirds. Stop staring at the uh, view over there, right? You know? The horizon. Oh, so romantic. Rubble and pebbles. Come on. Good little doggo. There you go. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Look at that, though. Huh? Not a little time for the curry boy. Whoa. Oh. Crimson Pinger. I have to give it to those boys, right? You know, from the Crimson Dawn. Do you have style? Do you have style, though? New quest item? Hmm. Speed upgrade. Yeah, we have all of these main missions over here, right? You know? Advanced slicing practice. The advanced slicing kit can be used to bypass an advanced terminal protecting a stash. Oh, let's just go there. What's going on here? Tax fraud? You paid the old rates. The governor raised them last week. Public 
Project Safety Initiative. That was everything I had. Uh huh. Wow. Ah, uh, tyranny, right? Did you come first with beautiful ideas like free healthcare for all, protection for everyone? That voice sounds like uh, uh, Count Dooku. But yeah, you know, like all of those beautiful things and everybody wants it and everybody wants everybody to have something. And then the coin or the hammer falls and then it's too late. You lost something? What's T9? R5 T9 is a top of the line astromech and he knows to meet me back here. His disappearance is your doing. Why would I steal that rusty junk? It always saps me with its shock prod. What about those bandits next to Typhon's Rock? He likes sapping them too. Would you see if T9 has been waylaid by the bandits? Tell you what, I'll keep an eye out for him. And if I find him, tell your friends I did you a favor. Sure. Hmm. I mean, how can we refuse a gentleman with a voice like that? I mean, you know, he just speaks with authority in a certain way right and he seems to be very wise so because he sounds wise i want to help him out okay we have to go down apparently wasn't there a safety net my boys ah oh, tough luck for me ah i remember which one yeah, it's right around the corner here. So big boy. Next there, the vent. Right in the old school cantina, right over here. Take it out, big girl. Come on, destroy it. Two, 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 two. Wait a minute. I think if we do it like this and like that, all of them in the middle might go away. No, apparently not. Okay. <laughs> Whew. This might be one of those again. Let's just place this one and there and there and there. Nice. Lucky boy. There were still so many options there, right? New speeder trophy. Bandit mask trophy. Nice. I do like hunting those down though, right? Wolf the ship. Off we go, 20, huh? Yeah, it, it was like we had to be here already a couple of times, but let's see what it is all about then. A pie called Jinjo has fallen victim to a scam and has been sold a worthless ship. Jinjo can be found walking guard duty in the gambling district. Ah! Oh, Jinjo, my boy. This is not a ginger, my boy, right? I mean, for the reason that it is purposely probably sold because he will be ginger then. Are you know you how it ginger? goes, man, you know. What's it to you? That mud scuffer you're buying a shit from is trying to rip you off. It's a pile of junk. You can't trust anyone in this place. So, you're skipping out on the pikes? Be a shame if Gorak found out. Perhaps this will buy your silence. My lips are sealed. Wow, we've become an extortionist right now, though, right? But yeah, like Carl Kestis, right? You know, he had trouble because he was a ginger boy, too. Now, let's go smuggler's hideout. We already have done this, though. It just does not go away. Nick's treasure trader. Let's go, my boys, because Nick's found something and maybe he wants some new clothing, right? After all, he's my little chihuahua. I'm a man with a bird and... You know that I want to dress up my little pup dog, right? And just because I have to feel manly, I will probably do some cringe stuff, right? Nah, it's just very weird. Very weird for me. Ooh. 
I like the colors there. That's kind of interesting. Umberdeen necklace. I will just feel very bad for it though, because if he hops around right, that stone is going to move and slams his teeth out. I don't like that. Grenade capacity. Hmm. Alright. Nothing really. Yeah, I don't think so, big boy. Don't think so at all. And another speeder upgrade. It's kind of weird to think that we are almost done with this planet, though. But I think we might come back later on and have even more stuff. The Rallium Chassis increases damage resistance for the speeder. Uh, we kind of need that big time, though, because you know how I fly <laughs> down the mountains at times. Wait a minute. Speeder upgrade. Yes, yeah, search the area for a speeder upgrade. Hmm. I thought we just had to upgrade it, but no. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nice. Speeder upgrade. Yeah. Intel upgrades. Nothing there. Appearances. Yeah, we do have a new one, actually, right? Oh, I like this one quite a bit, though. I do like it quite a bit. This one, too. Technically, I will drive this one in real life, Forest Commando. This one, it's a little bit gaudy, though, but... It's interesting. I now have a pike one. Use to customize the speed, of course. I kind of like this one because it's now quite symbolic, isn't it? You should visit more often. Bye now. You should visit more often. Bye now. <laughs> Fast shot trigger. Let's go. Let's go. We do need that one now, don't we? That one is going to be very important for the pew pew. Oh, it landed right there and halted, man. Oh, that impact must hurt so much. Okay, I do see that we can climb up there, maybe, if we can reach it. I don't think we can. Oh, evil boys. That's so evil, man, but let's just go. High hopes, man. We had high hopes. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we have been here before. Way before, but I've not seen this one before. Oh, didn't have that one in it. 63 meters. It's a little bit far away. We remember where this one is, though. Oh. Yeah. I mean, we cannot really go there. That's the weirdest thing about it, right? We cannot just go there, strangely enough, because there's no way to go there as far as I did see before. Doesn't make much sense, but we have been scouting this area for a well, while rather thoroughly. Let's do something Ubisoft hates us to do, and that is true free exploration. Could you get that oh, wait a minute. Yeah, see. Look at that, though. The terminal. I wonder how little Nyx goes there. But then again, he's a little monkey, right? You know, he can do anything here. Look at that. I totally scouted everywhere around here. And totally forgot about that. That's so cute, man. 
Oh, he's just climbing the ladder down. Hmm. Is it just me? Or am I the only one that likes these butterflies to have, you know, to have them around here? It's so aesthetic. Like, there's a tranquility over here. But such fragile creatures, right? Such fragile creatures, and then out of nowhere, we have... Wait a minute. There's, a, there's that cave down there, a little bit though. Not much, but... But yeah, you know, like... To have such fragile creatures around here in a super windy... Uh, I thought so. Super windy planet though. It doesn't make much sense if you ask me. But maybe they have some type of different structure to them than our earthly creatures. Look at that tunnel, Mix. Think there's anything inside? Yeah, we gotta be careful here with the tunnel. Apparently, I didn't miss the clue that it was actually going on and off. Oh! oh, oh, oh that's what I mean, though. Alright, let's wait here. Let's wait nicely over here. Yep, 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 yep. These are powerful winds, man. If it picks up these little stones, right? It could just tear the paint of a car within seconds. That's actually what you do with those paint jobs, uh, factories, right, you know? That's, that's rather cool if you think about it. And there we go. There we go. Now hopefully there's a proper way to get out of here too, but if, in, if not, we won't manage, right? Oh no. No way, don't tell me like we cannot do this. Oh, oh, no, 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 here we get. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. But this is not where we have to be. Speed restricted area, of course, of course. But it's not even where we have to be right now. Huh. We had a pointer here though. What do we have here, to be honest? Nothing. Hmm. I kinda want to explore it right now though. I mean, why not? While we are here, let's explore it. Oh, big treasure. Big richness. And nothing. Alright, well. scooby dee doo da scooby dee day My, oh my. What a wonderful day. Yeah, I took the wrong one. This one. Wait a minute. Astromech droids. It could be over there. Let's check out this little place over here first. Astromech droid. Have you seen one? Probably not. There we go. We do need two of that. Let's make a deal. Of course, we got those. Not a bad thing for us. Yeehaw, there we go. Okay. Very spectacular, I know, I know. Oh my, did you hear that? Do they have a pet like that? No, it's being attacked by the pet. Cool, cool. We have an ally. 
kind of interesting to see Imperial cargo boxes here. <laughs> oh yeah. Come on, big boy. Take him out, then. Nice. Don't mind me, all right. They're really taking good care of uh, of each other, you know, by not really hitting anything here. Look at that. That's how you do it, big boy. Nice. That's how you do it. And there is the Astro Macdroid. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hey, big boy, listen to me. You should go home, all right? I'm glad it didn't use that shock prod on us. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should make sure he actually makes it home. Hmm. Now, let's see. Returns. The Pike will provide a reward for the safe return of T9. The Pike's modified astromech droid is heading back to Mirogana. No, well, apparently he liked it out there. Maybe he just wanted to ride over the body there first. Alright, now let's see. We did get a new gift right of the Pike leader. Oh, what is this? Pike Syndicate Crest. A crest gifted by the Pike leadership to valuable business partners. Small chance to gain a free grenade when thrown. Interesting. Ship parts bundle. The Pike Syndicate re relies or re re rallies on skilled pilots with ships that can smuggle goods through the most challenging systems. They have access to some of the best ship, spa or ship parts on the market. I like both of them. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Ah, oh, there we go, big boy. There we go. I see your droid made at home. <laughs> he got into some trouble, but I took care of it. <laughs> T9 is always up to something. But he is the only friend I have. Thank you. The Pikes will not forget this. You're welcome, big boy. You're welcome. Did my reputation actually go up because of that? Well, yes, but... Oh, we are almost there, though. Oh, we just got it? I think we just got it, though. Absolutely do, though. What is this? He, uh, H-A-D Duraloy Hull. Oh, nice. Now the hull is a little bit bigger and thicker, I hope. But lighter, right? You know, we want to keep it light, but we want to keep it as strong as possible. What present did we get? Oh, wow. Imperial Disguise Jacket, a flexible leather jacket inspired by the ISB acquired by the Pikes from their dealings with the Empire on Toshara. Greatly increases Adoruin gain on hits with Case Blaster. Increases power module damage. Imperial Disguise Gear. I like it. Oh, a discarded Imperial Pilot chest box <laughs> that the Pikes collected from Imperial Shipwrecks on Toshara. Nice, let's just collect all of these. It might actually be very useful though, right? You know, increase accuracy when shooting from the hip in case blaster is super cooled after an adrenaline rush. Nice. Adrenaline. Imperial, blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, why not collect it all? I mean, come on, right? I mean, we don't have a lot, right? This one is, this one is kind of dumb. We we do need to collect quite a lot though to deliver it, and this one is bugged, so that's not great. This one we cannot uh, reach yet, so hey, you know it is what it is. So let's go to the wreck, my boys. There is walk away. You bored your girlfriend to death, my boy. It would be so weird for a human to date a Rodian, right, you know? Hey, with the nav computer and your repairs, how much am I gonna owe you? Okay, we're friends. We'll get to that. <laughs> I wouldn't call us friends. You will, because I just found you an EML 850 compatible nav computer. And, uh, since I know what I'm doing, it's free. <sighs> What's the catch? No catch. 
There's this old wreck buried in Amberine, and it's loaded with compatible parts. It's not stripped already? Look, uh, I mean, we tried. The winds picked up, and not all of us have fancy speeders. Then part of it collapsed and sealed it off. <sighs> Can't I just, like, boost one off a pike cruiser or something? Not possible. Trailblazer's a custom job. Off-the-shelf parts won't cut it. You're lucky I even remember this wreck. Even luckier that I have a plan. I just, uh, need a Class 11 power core. And where exactly am I supposed to get that? All kinds of places. Like, uh, you know, Imperial compounds. We barely made it out of that space station alive. <laughs> you trying to get me locked up? I'm just trying to get your ship fixed. You're welcome. And, uh, don't die, all right? Sure, big boy, sure. Direct. I mean, it is a perfect opportunity to actually check out our equipment, right, you know? And there we go. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of interesting, but way too bulky for him. Hmm. A little pouch? Why not? For its own snacks, maybe. There you go. Nyx will kick grenades away from K. Not bad, not bad. We have more over here. That is Lena. Slow, slows adrenaline loss over time. Small chance, yes. Greatly reduces fall damage except from extreme heights. Nice. Significantly increase ability to avoid detection by droids. Very useful though. Hmm. And we have a different charm here. K's lucky chip. This one is, is from more mother, right? You know. Uh, I believe it is. Given by Kay by her mother, Yariko. Overgrown Amber Stone. Increases health. Gain a surge of adrenaline when losing a significant amount of health. Sure. Sounds a little bit smarter, right? And maybe we should technically... How shall I say... Take our appearance off? There we go. Very ISB-like, right? <coughs> Ah, uh, let's talk to a gentleman here. Oh, we cannot. Before we do anything weird, because I wear the ISB rights, we want to go right over here and see if I can just walk in. Hello there, big boys. Oh, man. The rear is restricted, right? So, what bonus do we have? Imperial Disguise Gear. Increase ability to avoid detection by Imperials. Come on. Lose one to level significantly faster. Requires good or better reputation with the Pike Syndicate. Hmm. Okay, well, we will try it out anyways. It's probably not with the restricted zone directly but then again it is i don't know though right you know we will find out we will find out i'm curious man but i think we will have to find out in the next episode sadly though so yeah by that i want to thank you all for tuning in i really appreciate it have a wonderful time and i will see you guys then stay happy stay healthy and don't forget to subscribe where was that Oh, well, I mean, we can help these guys out first, right? Don't you worry, the ISB is here to help your day. After all, they do pay Imperial taxes, right? All right, let's go. That's it? That's it. Well, all hail the Emperor, I suppose. And by that... Just like before, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Stay happy and healthy. And I will help them again, though. Bye-bye.